All right, welcome back. Um, I have done, oh, I look really cool. <laughs> so I have done a very bad thing. It has been like two, maybe three weeks since I've played this. So I don't remember what I'm doing. It took me forever to get back here. Um, so this is gonna go well, but last time we did a lot. I think we, we made a bunch of new friends and we beat the penetrator, which I thought was gonna be scarier than it was, but it was just kind of fun because we had our friend Bjor, I think his name was, come help us. Oh, and we defeated Maiden Astraea and Garl Vinland, I think his name was. So we did a lot, which which was good, but then I took a break because life got busy. Anyway, we have some bosses to clean up. Oh, that scared me. We're gonna try and deal with the old hero here. Try and be patient, keep our distance and see if we can kill this dude. And I brought some different spells, brought this poison cloud thing and I have soul ray now. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot and uh, see how this goes. Oh, that does work on him, little by little. Okay, I need to not be greedy. Oh. Oh. I really can only poke him like once at a time. Then he hears me. He coming. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, that almost killed me. Excellent. Okay, I don't have to do that run ever again. <laughs> oh, okay. Not really difficult, but like, you really have to be patient. If you don't have patience, then you die and then you get frustrated. Archstone, yes. Good way to start off my return to Demon Souls. Um, I think I have a bunch of souls now. Yeah, so let's... Wait, is that another boss door right there? Another one of these, eh? Hmm. All right, let's go level up and see what's new with the Nexus. Okay, we quickly leveled up. Now we're gonna head back here to the Altar of Storms, Archstone of the Old Hero Demon. The hero's remains were cleansed with bright water and offered to the Storm King, a beacon for countless storm beasts whose broad wings blacken the sky. Are these his remains? Oh, there's a lot of bodies chained up here. Okay, another fog wall right away is never nice. We're going outside, I guess, because it's raining. Look for weapon. What are we doing? Oh, oh, right, we hate these things. They're cute but you hurt me. Oh, are you like a really big one? Yep. Oh, he's got little ones on him. 
Oh, so he's much bigger. Oh, boy. I'm gonna die a lot. Oh, but they're so cool. Storm King, is it? Okay, um... Where are you? Okay, we gotta go back to the Nexus and drop some stuff. Alright, let's go get whatever that weapon is. What are you? What are you? Oh yeah, you got a sword. sword. What are you? Storm Ruler. What is that in? Dark Souls 3? Yeah, I was. Come here. Oh, boy. Did he just... Oh, he's dead. He came close. Oh, why am I... Oh, I want to get out of here. I want that house back. Safe zone. Safe zone. Safe zone. A place that makes me feel Bye, big 
cool guy. All right, well, that was nice and quick. Two bosses already. We're so productive today. Um, oh, let's check out the sword. What does it say? A legendary large sword with a barbed blade named for one who quells or controls storms. It is said that the ancestral shadowman rent the very storm clouds from the sky with its might. Abandoned for an age, the sword is badly deteriorated, but what remains of this once mighty weapon is still enough to send foes flying. If wielded in the forest of Monoliths, resting place of ancestral spirits, its power to rend the sky might just be reawoken. I wonder if that's just in relation to the boss fight or or can we like should we go down here and like oh god I'm stuck see if we can like stop this storm maybe we can make it nice out oh, oh. no nothing special if you just like wail it at the sky i guess it was just for the storm ruler it's cool looking though. It's heavy though, so let's just put this one back on so that we can actually move about um, and go back to the Nexus. I think that's it for this Archstone. Um, what do we have left to do? Um, we could go back to where the Penetrator boss was and go on. Oh, we have to go back to Latria. I think it's Black World Tendency there, so we might have to fix that. The Monolith Forest. Perhaps this demon, a flying beast resembling a gigantic stingray, is a manifestation of the thoughts and feelings of the shadow men who worshipped it centuries ago. Very cool, very cool. Honey, I'm home. Thou seekest then touch the demons. Do I have enough? Oh, I got a lot for that. Let's level up. Okay, so yes. Um the Latria. Sorry, the Archstone of the Tower Queen is still in black. I think it's in very black. So I need to fix that before I can do anything else. I think I need to find another one of those black blobby things. I don't know what they're called. They gave me a colorless demon soul, though. And I did that in Shrine of Storms, and it reverted it back. So I just need to find it, I guess. Otherwise, we could go back to Boletaria and keep going past the Penetrator. But... Let's see if we can clean some stuff up. Talatria. Okay. Oh, back in this grossness. So I've been wandering around for a while. I did look it up just for a little help. Um, the blob thing I'm looking for is called a primeval demon. And it's down here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. But down here somewhere. <laughs> Last time I came down here, all of these things were way too. How is that item over there? Mr. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Those are scarier. Okay. 
not so bad. They're just a little spongy. I was kind of hoping they were guarding the, the thing I want. Mombasa. Um... Oh, a soul tendency. If soul tendency is black, does that mean sodden ring? Huh. So a black soul tendency did get me something. Grants higher mobility in deep water. This ring allows freedom of movement even in the murkiest of waters, but does not remove other dangers. That would probably be really useful in the Valley of Defilement. Too bad I don't plan on ever going back there. Oh, 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 that's it. Nice. Okay, we need to, no, we need to, I want to attack you. Nice. Didn't think I hit the bow. Um... Yes. I think that means that we can leave now and our tendency will go back. Okay, our stone shard. Let's see if I, we fixed it. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Now we can... Do we have souls? Ah, uh, some. Alright, now that we have dealt with the black world tendency here... Wait, no, not there. Up here. The next thing we have to do is to go try and fight the man-eater boss again, which I am not hopeful about. But I've definitely leveled up a bunch since the last time. So let's go and give it a shot. All right, we're here. Ugh. I don't know. I don't really want to use this because this is what I did before I kept dying and that's how I got black world tendency here. Um, I mean, let's just, let's just go for it, I guess. We gotta kill this one fast. Holy, like... better than it's gone yet. Hmm. Weird. You can see his shadow there. Looks like he's like perched on the fountain thing or the brazier. Hmm. Okay, let's think about rings and stuff. I don't need the thief ring while I'm in the boss fight. I need the cling ring for health. So what else can I put on here? Grease. Something for maybe defense? I mean, we could put this one on for more HP. And then... I wonder... I feel like this weapon did pretty well. Okay. Let's try and keep my shield up and not be numb.
take now. I don't know what it did, but it was satisfying to watch me fall. Don't fall off. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I feel like it might be time to take a break. I've been running back and forth, died a few times. Sometimes I just run off the edge by accident. Ah, so I think we're going to take a little break. We did get a few things done here, though. Like, a couple bosses done. Like, we really just need... This man-eater is probably the hardest boss that we found so far. Mostly because of the arena, but... I think we'll take a break and we will finish him off in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. More Demon Souls to come soon. And have a good day.